Hello and welcome to 6320 145A Street. This beautiful bungalow is located in Brander Gardens and as you can see this is what the area looks like if you look down the street in front of the home. Lots of mature trees in the area and there's a large driveway leading up to a double attached garage. This home has got 1,628 square feet on the main floor. It's got three bedrooms and three and a half baths. Now right at the front here, we've got some gates that open up into the courtyard where there's room to plant flowers on either side or other plants. You can also hang flowers here and there's a small deck uh, that you could set up as a, a seating area or put even more plants. Now if you're stuck between buying a brand new home and buying a home in a mature neighborhood, you can get the best of both worlds because this bungalow is completely renovated as you'll see as we go inside. All right, now as soon as we enter the home, we walk into a nice foyer with some tile floors. That's the entry door to the garage. There's a closet over there on the other side and it opens directly into the living room where we've got some nice floors in here. We've got pot lights everywhere. There's a wood burning fireplace on the other side of the room. And these beautiful sliding doors have actually got built in blinds. So the blinds are built into the actual door. Uh, I'm not gonna show you here, but you can see them stacked up at the top there. And there's a, basically a little lever that you can pull and you can close the blinds from within the window. Here's a closer look at the wood burning fireplace. So you can take it classic and uh, use some real wood instead of just the, what you see these days with the gas and the electric. If you like real wood, you'll love this. Okay, and now we're walking into the dining room and there's actually a full wet bar here and a mini fridge as well. So there's room to put a decent sized dining table there or it could be your kitchenette. Uh, and as you can see, there's lots of extra storage and another countertop here. Take another look, you can see the chandelier there. And now we're going to move into the kitchen. Now the kitchen has the same beautiful tile floors, stainless steel appliances with a gas stove, quartz countertops, tile backsplash, and an eat up bar at the island. Let's take a bit of a closer look at some of the appliances here. Here's the gas stove. We've got plenty of room to cook and clean and do everything here. And there's also some under cabinet and inside cabinet lighting. And a double sink. Just take a look at the island here. So there's lots of storage space. And over here, we've got like a second living room or family room area. You could also use this as a dining room if you didn't want to put the table in the other room. There's some flexibility there. And uh, of course, you've got lots of windows in this room as well, looking out into the backyard and another sliding door access to the deck. So there's lots of flexibility with this space to make it work for you. Now let's go take a look at the bedrooms. So I'll work my way down the hallway here. To the left, that's how you'll get to the basement or the back door. And we're gonna start with the master bedroom first. All right, so here's the master bedroom. Again, there's lots of pot lights, so there's ample lighting. One thing I didn't mention is that all of the windows have been replaced on this house. So you've got brand new windows. The roof has also been replaced. It's all new plumbing, all new wiring. It's basically completely new, even though drywall is new. So here is the master bathroom. We've got a five piece bathroom, same tile floors. We've got a his and her sink, lots of space, lots of areas to store your, your bathroom essentials. And then we've got a tub shower with tile surround.
So that's it for the master suite. Now let's go take a look at the other bedrooms. There's three bedrooms on the main floor. Okay, so here's the first bedroom. This one looks out the front of the property. And it's connected to this bathroom over here that we'll go to next. And again, we've got the same tile floors. This one's a four piece full bathroom. And it's, it's like a suited bathroom that's shared between the two bedrooms. So could be great if you've got two kids uh, or just having easy access from either bedroom. All right, now we're going into the, the second bedroom besides the master. So this is the third bedroom. This one looks out into the front courtyard. And since we just came from the bathroom, you can see that it is also connected to that bathroom. It's got ample lighting in here as well with some pot lights. And now we're back into the hallway. Now right here on my right is a half bathroom. So this is a perfect bathroom for guests so they can get access to a bathroom without having to go into either of those full suited bathrooms. And then there's also a linen closet just over here. It's a deep linen closet, so you could actually fit a fair amount of stuff in there. And then over here, there's another storage closet as well. All right, now let it, let's work our way down to the basement. So this is the side door going into the backyard. We'll take a look out there later. But let's go into the, the basement, which has also been completely redone. So the first thing is we open up into this large and long uh, rec room. And again, we've got another fireplace over there. We'll take a closer look at it a little bit later. We've got a room over here. This one is a decent sized room. Um, you could easily convert this into a bedroom if you added a closet and uh, an egress window, uh, but right now it, it's a good den or storage room or flex room, workout room, could be used for a lot of things. Taking another look at the rec room, lots of pot lights in here and they're all on dimmer switches. That's one of the things. This property has so many dimmer switches you can control the lighting very precisely. Here's a closer look at the wood burning fireplace in the basement. So now you've got two areas in the house where you could really create some great ambience with a wood burning fire. And over here, we've actually got a theater room. This has been designed to be used as a theater room. It's got some of the hookups already in place. You could easily add a projector here and put in some theater chairs and you'd have an awesome room. Even some of the wiring has been done for the speakers. But if uh, you don't need a theater room, this is another room that uh, it's quite large, so it could be used as another type of rec room, uh, crafts room. You could even convert this into a bedroom if you added a window and a closet, and it would actually be a, a quite a substantial bedroom. But right now it's set up to be a great theater room. All right, so let's work our way down to the other side of the rec room can see that there is another full bathroom here. This one's a three-piece bathroom with a, a standing shower, a vanity, and a toilet. Again, we've got the same tile that we saw upstairs. Here's just a bit of a closer look at the shower. All right. Now over on this end, we've got another uh, smaller room on this side. This could also be a den or a storage room, um, a flex room. It could potentially be converted into a bedroom. It would just be a bit on the smaller side and you would have to also add a window as well. Now we're kind of going into the utility slash laundry room area. They've got a great laundry room here uh, with a sink, which is awesome. Both of the, both the washer and dryer have not even been used yet. Uh, they're they're 
brand new. You can still see the stickers on them. They haven't even been opened up. And there's also a cabinet and countertop space there. So you've got lots of room to uh, fold and, and do your laundry. And then there's also another small room off to the side here, which uh, would be great for storage. And in these rooms right here, that's the utility room where there's a new furnace as well as a hot water tank and new plumbing and everything. So you can see that everything is new. Uh, I mentioned earlier that even the drywall was new because they rewired the house. So you're not dealing with old drywall uh, in order to rewire the house. They had to remove the drywall. So it's basically been rebuilt from the studs on the inside. Now let's work our way outside into the yard. Okay, now we're in the yard. I magically appeared on the outside. Just quick in a t taking a quick look over the fence there, that's towards the street. And we're on the side of the house right now. All right, now we're at the main part of the backyard. You're starting to see the deck here. And as you can see, it's very private. We got lots of mature trees. So there's quite a bit of shade back here um, and great mature tree growth. I'll give you a better look in a little bit here at the trees. Right now, I'm just kind of giving you an overall view of kind of the layout of the yard. You can see what the house looks, looks like from the back. All right, now let's take a look at some of these trees. This beautiful tree, look at that. You won't see that in a newer neighborhood. This is one of the best, biggest benefits of buying in a mature neighborhood. Now there is another part of the yard back over here on the right side. Actually, a little shed back there. I'll give you a quick look here, but first we'll just peek at the deck. And then here you go. Yeah, see, there's another, there's some more space back there, and there's a little shed. I'm not going to walk down there, but you can get a pretty good look from here. These are the doors that go into that front living room, uh, but it's a, it's a, it's a pretty big deck, so you got lots of flexibility with what you want to do here. And this is the door that goes into either that uh, second living room area or if you use that as a dining room. Just taking a look back over to the side here and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna show you again what it looks like if you look up at the sky here and you can just see like that is a beautiful view from your backyard. But thank you so much for taking a look at this property. If you're curious and you wanna take a look at it in person, give me a call or shoot me a text at 780-819-5508. Thanks for watching.